Hi, I'm Noelle Hyman with paperclipping.com and I'm in the Prima Brew booth and we're going to look at this collection or this line called Bloom and it's by the artist Jamie Doherty and she does all these cling stamps. It's a lot of faces and they're, they're just beautiful, beautiful faces with the flowing hair and wonderful flower designs in the hair, the Dia de los Muertos type design here with the lady. We've got a, a really beautiful tattoo on this lady's arms. We actually have a man. He looks like a steampunk man. I'm not sure what they call him. And then more of the steampunk thing going on with the glasses, the steampunk glasses. I love her hair with the little beads in it. And then we've got, this one's got seashells in her gorgeous hair and beads. And then this other one right here with the bird and the the little flashing lights. They've also got words to go along with the stamp or phrases like life is splendid or don't bother me, I'm living my dreams. So in addition to that, they've got a new watercolor paper pad and one side is smooth and one side has that typical watercolor texture. So if you like one or the other, or maybe it depends on your project. And then also these flower, really beautiful flower stamps. And then we've got stencils, and there's lots of stencils and these gorgeous wings here, and this kind of it, um, chevron that's got these edges that are not straight, the wheels. So in addition to that, they have these letters that are threaded. They're called thread letters, and I don't know if you can see, but it's uh, the thread wraps around each part of it. And so there's five different words. We've got happy, dream, love, create, and family. And then down below, we've got more stencils. And these are layered stencils. So that would be maybe your bottom image, and then you could put that on top. Um, and we're going to look at a few projects where they show those. So here's more flowers here. I think that's a hibiscus. And then these flowers here. So let's take a look. Um, we've got one example where she used a gesso. And you can; those are great for if you like like the pace so you get the dimension and um, here she did it with gesso and there's a bit of dimension in that and that's a black gesso on top of the pink which was the solid stamp and then here's a here are some projects uh, using her clean stamps and this is just beautiful she layered ice resin on the top of this one so it has this really beautiful shine to it and it's real thick and um, really substantial here's another one of her images from her girl, her girls. I don't know what she calls them. She's got a little nest of eggs in there. This one up here, you can see the one of the flower stamps and there's maybe some kind of a paste to give that dimension, that texture. And this is done with a marker down here. And then this one has embroidery thread and it's, it's embroidered. So I'm guessing they stamped it on top of this. And I think these are all Jamie's, actually these are all Jamie's pieces. So these are both embroidered. She must have stamped on the, on the canvas or whatever they call that. One more thing we're gonna look at real quick before we actually go to Jamie is they've got these new markers called the Prima Palette Set. And they come in packages of three. So you can pick whatever tones you want. There's some light and some dark. And, there's two, it's a two-sided tip, so there's the calligraphy tip, and then there's the wedge tip. So you can see the calligraphy and the wedge. All right, so let's head over, and we're going to meet Jamie Doherty. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Thanks for showing us some things yes, today. thank you. I'm just gonna crowd down here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my two-part stencils we have new to the CHA. We're gonna be working on uh, my A4 watercolor paper pad. Now the benefit to this paper pad in particular is you have two textures. You have a more textured surface for your mixed media and watercolor, and then you have also a smooth surface for um, stampers and card makers. So we're gonna go ahead and use this smooth side for now. Now with the two-part two stencils, what you do is you'd create your color base first, and then you'd add dimension with the second, and outline with your second layer. I'm gonna go ahead and use our new uh, palette markers. And I'm just going to go over, color in to our little stencil. And you've got that wedge at tip, so it yes. makes it faster. It makes it quicker, larger surface area.
and you can see how nice and smooth it blends. What um what shade is that? Do you know what that um, one's I called? Don't. I this don't. one's aqua. It's really pretty. Yes, it's really pretty teal. And all the palette sets come in three tones together plus replacement nibs. So that really does save a lot of m time and money. Yeah. <laughs> Take trying to figure out what colors you need to go with which. <laughs> For blending especially with the alcohol mar markers, you really need at least three of the same tone to get that nice blended look. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and these are alcohol-based yes, markers? these are alcohol-based markers. So then now, we, now that we have our nice little um, base surface set, we're going to go ahead and move this over. And you just line it up. And I'm going to go ahead and stipple some of the heavy black gesso over the top. I'm just going to take a paintbrush. And I apologize, my stencil's not the cleanest. <laughs> that means you're using it. <laughs> yes, it's been through the ringer this week, I will admit. So you just take a little um, paint, lightly dab some of the excess off. And I'll show you part of this. I yeah. love lotus flowers. Yeah, a few so tips, thank you. A few tips when using your stencils. Um, spray a little repos repositionable adhesive on the back. And that will help it from squirming on you, and it helps save some of that medium from slipping underneath the, oh. the stencil as well. We all have that problem. I'm probably going to have that problem right now. <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to show you over here. And you can see how you'll have that nice outline along with the backdrop. That's really pretty. Thank you. So it, it really gives that dimensional look without adding that extra weight to a piece. Uh -huh. And um, all the steps are in one stencil. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, yeah, Jamie. Thank you. Thanks. All right. So this is Jamie Doherty. Hi. We're here in the Prima booth, and I'm Noelle Hyman from paperclipping.com.